Hi, and welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Monique. And I'm Naveen, and today we're going to be playing the two to four player game Oceans, designed by Nick Bentley, Dominic Krapuschetz, Ben Goldman, and Brian O'Neill, and published by North Star Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. Yes, join us as we attempt to survive the dangers of the deep. It's a right? very scary place. <laughs> now, before we get started, we do want to mention that there is an upcoming Kickstarter for the new Legends of the Deep expansion, which includes a new solo mode, mm -hmm. as well as new Legend cards, which are inspired from cultures all around the world. They changed the gameplay quite a bit, and so if you are interested in an overview as to how the new Legend cards work, then stay tuned for the end of the playthrough. Now today, we are playing the base game of Oceans, and so if you'd like to learn how to play it, Ronnie has made a tutorial video for it already, which is linked in the description below. And if you're interested in other gameplay videos just like this one, we make more of them over on our own YouTube channel called Before You Play, which is also linked in the description. Now before we begin, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case you make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. Ideally, we will not need them, but you never know. We'll see. And otherwise, I think we are ready to begin. Yeah, let's do it. So if you'd please direct your attention to the set of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of oceans. oceans welcome to the ocean thank you uh so we are all fully set up we have our six surface cards yes. we also uh, pre-populated the population in the different zones in the ocean uh, also we have moved over uh seven population from both the reef as well as zone one mm -hmm. into ocean zone three yes. as depicted by this card right here yep as per the full setup rules That's it. and so the two scenarios that we we're playing with today are long haul migration which says species may forage from any ocean zone. And as a reminder, that is only when this first ocean zone is empty. And the second scenario is called fertile. So anytime the second ocean zone is empty, new species gain two. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. We're gonna try to use these scenarios to our advantage. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, we just have to see who goes first. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. You wanna do odds or evens? Uh, let's do it. Okay, what do you want? I'll be evens. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Odds. Odds. I'm first. You're first. So I get the bonus token that mm -hmm. gives me four points because it's probably less ideal <laughs> to go first. I can steal and from you, probably. I mean, you get I that get one. the big donut. Yes. Nothing. You need it as a reminder. The big, yeah, the big nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to begin? I am. Okay, turn one. Turn one, do it. And again, since it's the start of the game, we are playing one card per turn. Mm -hmm. As soon as the Cambrian explosion happens, then uh, the game Two will points. amplify. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by playing this card. This is the Filter Feeder. Mm. This will allow me to forage for five, but I cannot attack. So I'm going to start a new species, of course, since we don't have any species yet. Still early. Interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and place the trait right there. Okay. So then, of course, I'm going to feed using this species. Yeah. And so I get to forage for five, and that's going to come all from the, uh, the, the reef. The old reef. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. So that's nice. I have that a little nice. bit of a buffer yeah. for aging. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> but you cannot attack with that one. No, I can never attack with this species. Okay. All right. So there you go. I have fed and now it's time to age. So I'm just going to take one population off of this species since it is before the Cambrian explosion. You're winning 5 0. Then I'm going to end my turn by discarding two surface cards mm. so that I can draw up uh, some more. I'm not going to draw any deep cards yet because it's still early. You can't play them yet. Clog up my hand. Yeah, yeah, we can't play them. So I'm drawing up three so that my hand is has a total of six. Looking solid. And now it is you. Okay. What are you going to do, Naveen? I am going to play a card. Don't touch my by fish. By you doing that, it made me kind of change the card I wanted to play okay so i am going to go ahead and put an apex predator into play oh, i noticed no. you discarded one over there oh so uh this one's going to go into play so okay. i need a board yep here you go thank you very much you're welcome okay and so now this one's going to go into play right there and um i'm going to go into my feeding phase okay and i'm going to go ahead and attack your filter feeder wow so i get to attack for three uh -huh. so i'm going to take uh that three population if you do not mind these three yes, right please. here mm -hmm. is that what you're referring to i am <laughs> okay so that you was... can take from there and i'll just eat your fish for now and then we'll just you know symbiotic relationship sure <laughs> you set it up and i take it home and now i'll go ahead and age and i'll take down one of my population okay put it behind and we are going to now discard and draw I'm going to get rid of two cards. Okay. And so now I will draw up to six because I have three remaining. So two and three. There we nice. go. So I have my six. All right. Back to me. Yep. Well, I didn't like that. And unfortunately, this is going to prevent me from uh, putting in a new species because I can't let you do that. You got something up your sleeve? I do. I'm going to play transparent. Oh. So transparent is a trait that says you can't be attacked or leached if there is population in the reef. So it's a little bit of protection yeah. for my, my firstborn here. This is exactly what you want your... <laughs> 
you always case. want yeah stuff in the reef i guess so i guess that goal. is now my my Your goal my strategy right now yeah but uh there you go you can't attack me okay um and clearly i only have the one species so i'm going to feed again from the reef which is not which is not the thing that protects ideal. you in the long run yeah yeah okay because now it's all about survival in this game. I mean, it is. Yeah. It is about survival. You got to be adaptable. This right. game is all about adaptation. I'm going to age this one sure. uh, population. Very good. So can't be attacked or leached Correct. if there is population in the reef. And That's there right. Happens to be population. And so, just so you know, this is kind of a dangerous zone for you now because this uh, species can only attack. Mm -hmm. So so they can survive two rounds as long as they're protected, right? Because I can age one, age two, mm -hmm. and then... You'd have to start attacking your own I would species, have to feed off myself, I yeah. <laughs> I really like my cards. Okay. <laughs> and this is kind of a difficult decision. I'm not going to discard any. Sure. I'm just going to draw one. Okay. And now it's back to you. All right. Okay, I'm going to start my turn by playing out a new species. We're going to get myself a, a filter feeder. Ah. Question to me is, do I want it on the right or the left of this particular one? Because there's a lot of cards that could cause... Uh, some issues depending on where I place it. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it here, just to the right. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this down go. just a little bit just to make it nice. Oh, it's shall we move clean. the whole party sure. down? Yeah, let's bring it down. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's going to be there. So the filter feeder acts exactly like Monique's filter feeder. Yes, and you never overpopulate. That's always a nice trait. It is good. It cannot attack just like yours can attack. And so I'm going to go ahead and forage uh, as my feeding Oh, phase. no. So I'll take from here. Leave two, my three, reef four. alone. And five. I believe there's only two fish left, so I think we might... Oh, no, there's three in the reef right now, so we might want to migrate. Ooh. We might want to migrate. And you, when you say we, you well, mean Well, you're me? next, <laughs> so it's going to have to be you. I don't like that. You don't like that? Okay. Okay. So that's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and age. Yep, and you get to age twice now. Yes, so for that's... this one and this one Yeah, as well. that's really so great. Let's go ahead and just strip off of those two. That's so great. That's nice. So I'll discard one card. Okay. And then I'll draw up two, and then it'll be back to you. All right. There you go. So it's my turn to place mm -hmm. a new species into play. Right. Uh, now that we have some, some nice prey, oh. <laughs> I too will become an apex predator. At two? Yes. Oh. So this is a new species. I'm going to place it. I guess there's not a whole lot of, of risk in terms of spacing. As of right now. As of right now. So I'm going to place it here. Okay. And it is an apex predator. This is going to allow me to attack, which I will do. I'm going to feed with this species, and I'm going to attack your filter feeder over here. You gonna do that? I don't know if you've named your species, but no, whoever no. this is, I'm attacking for three. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I saw you discard one of those apex predators. I did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to have two. Oh, you know? I see. I, I wanted to be aggressive, but not too aggressive. You know. So it's not looking good. I'm gonna age now mm. both of these. And, ooh, do I want to discard anything? Yeah, I'm going to discard these two cards and uh, yeah. draw from the surface. Still no deep cards. No interest. No interest in the deep cards yet. No. Because it, you I, can't I, even again. play them yet. Yeah, I mean, unless you like, really like these two. This is a shark cleaner mm -hmm. that allows a uh, species with three attack or more. Sorry, after a species with three or more attacks, like this Apex, Apex Predator, um, you gain three if mm. it's the closest shark cleaner on either side. That's kind of nice. nice. And telomere repair uh, lets you gain two before aging. Anyway, back to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this apex predator. I had these plans to filter feed and just feed into my own apex predator. You got a zag. That's life in the ocean. All right. Seeing as my filter feeder is exposed to the dangers of an apex predator, <laughs> I have something to say no more to that. I'm okay. Have inking. Nice. Inking is just straight up protection from attack. So this is basically like a four protection against your three attack. So yeah, that's that's kind of nice. Actually, really good. Yeah. So I'll put that there. Unfortunately, I'm not migrating anything because of that. But I think I will feed by foraging what's in here, which oh, is no. only three. So that's that. So oh boy. Take it. So up to five I can, but there was only three in there. So now the reef is empty. Yes, uh, which so means that's the thing. my species here can be attacked. They can be attacked now, yes. All right, we're going to go ahead and age. Hopefully this apex predator can survive the next round. Hopefully not. I'm taking two down, and that is going to be that. I think I want to discard some cards. This is unfortunate because now we can't, we can't forage at can't all. Can't forage, no. We have to wait for this to to. You can migrate, though. You can definitely migrate. Yes. I can. I don't want to. <laughs> you were trying to get me to do it on my turn. So I'm going to discard right. two cards. I'll discard those two, and then I'm going to draw one. 
two, and three, so I'm up to six. Okay. That's me. Well, uh, it's back to me, and I have some time. I mean, some. this isn't the end of the world, nope. because I can still age with the two species that I have here. So I'm going to make a third one. I'm going to play this card. This is the Shark Cleaner, okay. and it says, after a species with attack three or more attacks, gain two if this is the closest Shark Cleaner on either side. Oh. So since these two predators are technically next to each other, mm -hmm. I'm going to place this species in between them okay. so that it can potentially happen um, when either of them attack. Sure. We need to remember that this is a dividing line right, right. <laughs> because these are my species over here. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Um, now I'm going to feed using my apex predator. Okay. And I think I'm going to attack uh, my filter feeder. Y yeah, you have to. Right? I have to because yeah. I can't attack uh, your species so over here because protection. they have four protection and you can only choose that method if you're going to take at least one population. Yep. Makes sense. This species doesn't have any population, which means I will take the full amount of three. Ooh. And since this uh, shark cleaner is the closest one to this apex predator, <laughs> this is going to gain two. Oh. And anytime you gain, you gain from uh, the leftmost uh, ocean zone. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, two population from here, which is great because it's two population uh, towards unveiling the long haul migration. Yep. So there we go. The best part? Time to age. Time to age. So I'm going to age Ooh. these three. Um, this population is still surviving, yes. or this species is still surviving, because only if you have to take in excess yep. of what you have does the uh, species become extinct. And now you can't attack me. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to go ahead and discard two cards and draw three. All right. That's my okay. turn. It is back to you. We are at a stalemate on this uh, migrating. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do Just it. Just do it, Naveen. No. Please. Do the ocean a favor and uh, migrate to fish. No. We are going to become parasitic. <laughs> okay, before your feeding phase, uh, this uh, is going to leach two from the species to the left. Oh, so no. I'm going to place it next to this apex predator are here. Are you sure you don't want to put it here? Definitely not. Make a new one? No. Uh, -oh. uh so this one is technically to the left like it picture this is like kind of we're all sitting in a circle so this is uh, to my left this is to its right if that makes sense yes so because it's parasitic it says before your feeding phase mm -hmm. leeches two from the species to the left i'm going to leech that just one because okay. all you have is one yep there you go all right unfortunately we cannot forage because there's nothing in the reef right now but i will go ahead and use my apex predator to attack so it's a uh, level three, uh, and you have a protection of two. <laughs> yes. So I'm so only going to take, yeah, I'm going to take just the one okay. from there. Well, there you go. You have enough fish to, to feed. To this feed. is, someone's going to be extinct here. Yeah. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and age. Let's strip down two. Okay. I didn't like the fact that you got three, though, on the last one. That That's good. Did, wait, did you, you attacked me? I did attack you. So my shark cleaner comes into play. Oh, yeah, okay. Because you attacked with three or more, I gained two. Oh, okay. That is nice. And I'll try to leech it when I can. Well, I need to, <laughs> I need to age still. Oh, no, this is not... I don't like this symbiotic relationship that you're yeah. trying to form. I mean, you're scoring three, I'm scoring two around. It's, it's not, true. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. You know, I'm going to hold on to my cards. I thought I was going to discard, but I, I'm, I'm going to see what you do, and then maybe in the next one Ooh. I'll figure it out. I don't know. All right. Are you done? Yeah. I think it's time. Managing think, my hand is tough in this game. I think it is time to migrate. I've lost the standstill. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm desperate because these two are going to survive, but this one is not. Right. So I'm going to it's play. It's your first baby. Yeah, it is my first baby, my firstborn. I'm going to play this card. It has a migration value of six. So I'm going to choose all six uh, population ah. from the first ocean zone. Five, six. And then they're all going to go back into the reef. Yep. I wanted to play a migration number that wasn't that high. So you can strip so it all. That I can take some, <laughs> yeah. but leave you with just one yeah, so one that you pebble. can't attack me. That was the best still. card. Six is the best. Yeah, it's not you're bad. You're going to feed, you're going to take five out of it. Yes. Leave one behind and I can't attack you. Speaking of, let's do that now. I'm going to forage with this species. Uh, I mean, it did prevent me from adding a new trait. What's funny is I could migrate or, that one out of there and then attack you. You can, but it's Oh, I mean, you can, yes. <laughs> you're like, actually, yeah. You can, but my shark cleaner, you know, we, we have definitely uh, started a relationship of sorts. Mm, so I agree. Here's my five. All right, so I'm going to age, and so I'm going to take one <sighs> from each. Taking three, three every time, Monique. You're surviving. <laughs> Do I need another? <sighs> you need another. You definitely I need, another. need another. 
All right, oh, let's I definitely need another she this card. Is it? Oh, it can't be an explosion that's going to happen soon. Do I take a deep card? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to draw a deep card. So this happens before I discard. Um, and instead of drawing one from the gene pool, I, I'd like the element of surprise. Okay. So I'm going to take three from here. Unfortunately, that does mean that two new cards are going to be placed in the gene pool uh, for you to choose from. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to keep this one. So I'm taking that. It's a secret. And I'm going to go ahead and place these two into the gene pool. So there's camouflage, okay. which is plus two uh, protection, shell protection for each other species you have. Other species. So oh, okay. other species. And then there's draconic, which I uh, debated it's a taking. big attacker. Look Very at aggressive. Its overpopulation is scored, though, instead of lost. Ah. So it has that three shell and seven attack value. Oh, so yeah. you want to just like steal a bunch of food and try to overpopulate so you can yes. score. It's like a spillover point. So, yes, oh, wow. it is dr draconic. draconic. Maybe draconic. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and discard two of my surface cards, and okay. I draw two more for a total of six cards oh. in my hand. I have now one deep. I'm ready for the Cambrian explosion, but it's back to you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> you You're, feeling the burn? I'm, I'm definitely feeling the burn. The ocean burn this is this is tough this is really tough because you're uh you're you're taking down three population and i'm only taking down two you too can take down three you i know have to create a new species all right i'll do it so oh, okay i'm gonna create one and it's gonna go actually in between because this is the the uh positioning matters okay. depending on the card so uh, may i have another uh, sure what are you playing i'm gonna be playing symbiotic it says gain one after the species to the left forges or attacks well this nice. is my attacking predator very so, good. Uh, you know. There you go. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, that's good placement. Thanks. So now you're really incentivized to attack. To keep this one alive, yeah. Okay, so uh, we have parasitic. So before your feeding phase, uh, I'm going to leech two from the species to my left. So I'm going to take from my last one. Shark cleaner. Okay. And then now I have to figure out how the heck am I going to attack you <laughs> with this one fish in the reef? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, you can't. You can't attack this species. I this can't, one's safe. I, I can't attack for this now. One. <laughs> guardian right there. The guardian of this species. I know. I, I'm gonna have to do it. So in order to keep this one alive, I have to do it because this has to attack. Okay. In order for this to gain. You, you have know. to do what? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna exactly what I did last time. So I have a three attack to your two protection. So I'm just gonna take the differential of one population. Okay. Because I attacked. This one, the symbiotic, gains one after the species to the left forges or attacks. Yep. So I'm going to gain from, I believe it's this yep, uh, from ocean the, zone the one. First ocean zone <laughs> ability. This is not good. I feel like I'm in a tailspin. My shark cleaner also comes into play. It does. Because you attacked. I did. So I gain two. You do gain two, which so. hopefully I can keep leeching. <laughs> So you get one, I get one kind of thing. Yeah. Until not, you protect it. And then it's... A, I mean, I don't like the sound of that, but yeah. there you go. Okay. So then now we're going to go ahead and age one, two, and three. And now this filter feeder that is inking is dangerously close to extinction. Yeah. It's time for you to migrate. I don't want to do it. I want you to do it. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. What would you like <laughs> to discard? Anything? Or do you want a deep card? Uh, I mean, Draconic was kind of nice sounding. What? <laughs> Draconic was nice sounding. Yeah, I mean. That was, uh, you heard it here first, it folks. Here first. Naveen thinks it's nice. Okay, I'll go ahead and discard one card, and I'm just going to draw up two surface cards. I don't think I'm ready for the deep yet. Okay, yeah. that is fair. That's fair. How to clear this zone out. Migrate. That is, I don't, <laughs> you migrate. You migrate. I just did. You're winning. Okay, um, I'm not <laughs> going to migrate, okay. but... I am going to start a new species. Another so let's one. start them while we can, because once the Cambrian explosion happens, you're going to be aging for two, and it's way harder to keep these keep them alive. new species alive. So oh boy. I'm going to play another shark cleaner. What the heck? And okay. I'm going to play this in between here, oh. so that it's still next to my apex sure, predator. Okay. There you go. So these two will be the closest shark cleaner on either side of this apex what predator. So as long as I uh, play my cards right. So I played my surface card. Now I'm going to feed with my apex predator. Okay. And the only um, the only species I can really attack that'll be worth it is this one. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot attack this one. Right. Because there's still that one savior population sure. in the reef. So it only makes sense to attack this one. Okay. So I'm attacking for a value of three. Uh, there's only two, which is fine. So we take, take the lot. Take the lot of them. Sure. It does not cause the species to go extinct because, again, that only happens during aging. Um, but so it will go extinct is what you're saying. It will not because my 
Apex Predator attacked with uh, three or more attacks. Okay. So they will both gain two because they are both the, sh the closest shark cleaner on either that side so of funny. it. That is so funny. It got attacked so, itself and then re... Okay. Yeah, and then it just gained more. It's a, it's a shark cleaner. It, uh... It's a shark. Yeah, it's like, bite me. I'll clean you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's symbiotic. All right. So Very that's symbiotic. it. Let's go ahead and age. I'm going to age oh, for you're four. Getting four points three, around to my brain. <laughs> I can't keep up. This can be your future, to be and it's uh, going to make more species. I'm done. Yeah, I'm toast. <laughs> okay. Very All good. right. So I'm just going to discard one card and then draw back up two. Okay. All right. It is back to you. Naveen. Okay, if I want to keep this one alive, I think I have to play a very specific card here. Okay. I have Whale Cleaner. It oh. says, after a species with uh, three or more foraging power uh -huh. uh, gains three. No, actually, after a species with three or more forages, yes. this species where I play it is going to gain three if it's the closest whale cleaner on either side of that species. Okay, so it's kind of like the opposite of a shark yeah. cleaner. Yeah, we're just trying to be friendly here. So yeah. I'm going to place it here. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then now, before we go into feeding, we are parasitic, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip off that fishy. This last one? That fishy, yeah. There you go. Bring it to me. Uh-huh. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and now forage. I'm going to forage with my filter feeder. Okay. I'm going to forage the one, the one. And not get five, but this is empty now. <laughs> right. And then because of that... Because this forage with a power of three or greater, yep. this is now going to gain three. Uh, so I'm going to gain three from here. Nice. So we are one shy of the Cambrian explosion, I believe. We are. Is there only as, four in here? As well as the long haul migration. Yeah. I believe so. I think this there's only gonna gain three. one last in there. And now we're looking semi-healthy <laughs> until you attack me, which you I know is going to happen. For all. I, I am going to age all. So we're going to go one, two, yep. and three. Which is one shy of your four, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm storing don't, something. Don't look at my area. And while you decide what to discard, I'm going to try to even out the uh, sure playing area yeah, a little bit more. I sense. think I, I think my species went a little bit high here. Yeah, I'll do the same. Let's, oh, okay. Let's bring it on down. Or would you like a deep card? Since we are so close to the Cambrian explosion. I think I'm gonna ditch. Well, ah, uh, okay, fine. I'll draw three off the top. Oh, Let's okay. So we're gonna have a new uh, a new gene pool here. Set. Let's figure out what I'm discarding. Okay, I think I'm gonna toss these two back. Okay. Living ecosystem, as well as sedentary colony. Oh, interesting. This one cannot be attacked or forage. It just takes one population from any ocean zone when any adjacent species gains. It specifically gains. Gains. Yeah, yeah. The blue triangle. Which is perfect for you. And then living ecosystem says before your feeding phase, you migrate population equal to this species. Um, Forage value from any ocean zone to the reef. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You know, we really do need to migrate. We haven't been migrating at all. No. And uh, the game ends once the ocean is emptied. So there's a lot, there's a bit of strategy it's, having yeah. to do with migrating stuff back into the reef. Yeah, the, the whole, your whole filter feeder protection thing is kind of throwing a wrench in that. <laughs> this one population <laughs> is really, <laughs> is really getting me. So uh, I think I am going to migrate, which okay. is funny because I was so opposed to it. What are you migrating? I'm going to to play this card. It's the Apex Predator, but we're going to ignore the fact that that's what it is. And we're going to use it for its migration value, which is 11. That's a lot. And so I think I'm going to take all 11 from the second ocean zone. Oh, okay. So that we can get a little bit closer to activating fertile. fertile yeah. So you want to help me here? Yeah, sure. What do you got <laughs> so there? So three, four, five, six, seven. I need four, Eight, nine. nine. 10, 10. And 11. You're going to move them all to the reef? Yes. Okay, there's 11 in the reef. There you go. Protection. Yeah. Yeah, protection. And so that was the only card that I was you able to play. That. So now I must feed. And in order for me to get the most bang for my buck, I'm going to feed using... Oh, interesting. You're not going to forage. Predator. Well, I won't be able to... I mean, I could. I could just forage with the shark cleaner for one. Well, maybe I should do that. I thought you were going to forage with your filter feeder. If I do, my shark cleaner is going it's to going go extinct. bye-bye. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, but I guess I could empty it so that you don't get to leech anything. Okay. <laughs> You know? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't know. This might be a silly decision. No, but it's I'm, good. I'm going to forward for one since yeah, it does good. have that one innate. And that's it. That's all that happens. Nothing. No uh, cyclical things um, Sounds activate. like four points are coming your way. But I do get to age them all. So here we go. One, <sighs> two, three, four. And now you can't leech. <laughs> I can't leech. <laughs> so that's that. Adding my four population into my score pile over there. And then... Ooh, what to do. I like the li living ecosystem deep card because it kind of 
protects this uh, filter feed. You feature. love this filter feed. I do. Here. I really do love this I species. I hate this thing. <laughs> I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this deep card. Sure. And just hold on to it. And then, uh, do I discard anything? How the heck do I win? I'm not going to discard anything. So I'm just going to keep my hand uh, the way it is. So it's back to you. Are I you going to I can't put a fourth one. Activate it. the Cambrian explosion? I probably will. Perhaps. I think I'm I think it's going to happen, yeah. Uh okay, so I'm going to put another parasitic card into play. Okay. Uh so this one uh, is like my other one, but now it's dependent on the species to the right. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to make it parasitic over here. So this parasite would normally leech from here. That's yep. not happening because of Monique's play. Uh -huh. This parasite is going to leech from here. So I'm going to take these two down. Okay. And I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> we're going to do that. So that's just the leeching part. That's just the leeching. That's so now you, feeding. Now you have to feed. Now, because there is population in the reef, my filter feeder is going to go ahead and take five down. Yeah, I pretty much just... So one... I just helped you. I gave you food. Five, yes. What have I done? Four and five. And then because uh, whale cleaner after species with three or greater foraging, this is going to gain three. Um, so we are going to take from there. So I'm going to take from the leftmost, which is ocean zone one. Mm -hmm. Now we have the Cambrian explosion. Boom. And then in addition to that, uh, the next uh, zone that I take from the other two is going to be from Ocean Zone 2. Yes. So we have these two. So Cambrian Explosion has wow. occurred. This is actually really good for you. Yeah. Because um, I went first. You did. Right? Yeah. And you are the first who gets to age two. Two. And you have so many. Okay. That was the wrong move. Okay. I now know. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to take six. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So gonna, you've, been my, you've been taking points down every single round one extra than me but now i'm going to have the opportunity to, to do score a, a, two a 2x x this one time one time so hopefully i can work this had the cambrian explosion happen earlier then mm -hmm. you would have been able to play a second card but because right. you're done with the playing cards phase it doesn't happen but you will now age two, two. per turn instead of one All in right. addition yep. long haul migration is now in play so a species may that forage nice. from any ocean zone. that is nice as soon as we put a population back in here though <laughs> that is not nice not be in play yeah. just so you know don't sure. do that <laughs> so i'm going to take two down from each species so uh, two two and beautifully two so awful. i got six points in one turn <laughs> i'm scared i should not have i am nervous i am nervous i don't know if i can keep these all alive but i'm going to try uh, but well, now we can start playing deep cards yes that is a thing. And we're going to be playing two cards mm -hmm. instead of one, which is great, actually. Yeah, because then you can start migrating, moving things around. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see some more deep cards. Let's go ahead and just draw three, and then hopefully one of them will work out for me. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to toss these two back. Okay. I really like that filter Kraken, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. Not happening. It says May Forge two additional times. Ooh, that is nice. But that species and like... You also tossed back Gigantic Scavenger. I did. So this is a <laughs> attack value of six, but it says after a species with five attack or more attacks, you take two population from that species. Wow. I couldn't figure out how to use it, and I was like, I don't have anything that's five attacks, so mm. I'm just going to toss it back. That's fair. All right, that's my turn. All right, back to me. So I have to play two cards now. Uh... What to do? Yeah. This is tough because I have to age for two. Right. And these two aren't looking too good. They're not healthy. No. They were healthy in the, in before the Cambrian explosion. In the before times. Yeah. All right. So the first card I'm going to play is a surface card. Okay. This is a oh, whale well cleaner. Cleaner. It acts very similar to yours. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and place it here. Sure. On this species. So you can forage, yeah. It'll be, it should be the closest one on this, this side of your uh -huh. filter feeder as well. Yep. So that'll help. Uh, the second card I'm going to play is our first deep card. So this cutie is warm-blooded. Okay. And uh, it says uh, you may have one extra trait, so whatever species I place this on, sure. you can do that. And I can age an additional one to three oh. population. So in order for me to put oh, this into play, I need to toss two of my population from my score pile back into uh, the areas over here. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and move this up and place it right there. So... Um, so you have to get rid of two. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take two population, and I get to choose where to put it, either in the reef or any one ocean zone. Gonna I'm going to go yeah. into the reef, and so that's that. So now, even though I got to play two cards, I still can only feed once. So right. therein lies the problem. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to have to uh, feed with my apex predator. Okay. Because this is the only way for these two to get some to food get some right stuff. now. So I'm going to attack. Oh. Yeah, it's not enough. It's not good. No, it's gonna it's gonna be enough because you still only age for two. Yeah. So it can either attack the your apex predator or symbiotic. Mm -hmm. 
You know, since it's going to be the same either way, I would only get to take one population, regardless of which one I choose. I'm going to take this one. Mm. Just to for the hope that it might go extinct. <laughs> is that rude? That is Okay. Rude. So I've attacked. Uh, both of my shark cleaners will now gain two. Okay. So The leftmost zone. The leftmost zone. Ocean zone. Yeah, we're getting closer to activating fertile. Ah, so look there's at that. Two. Look at that. Two and two. Ah. All right. Now we're going to age the exact <laughs> survival amount. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> this is too survival. Unbelievable. Someone's going to go extinct um, next turn Gosh. is what that means. So two. Two. Unbelievable. Look at that. Two and two. All right. I've wiped my boards clean. <laughs> we're still alive, fellas. Okay. Get the toothpick out. Um, oh I'm gosh. going to. Do I discard some cards? I'm going to discard one card okay. and draw three. So one, two, and three. Now, I did have to give back two of my population in order to play that deep. That's true. So so it is I a give six. and take. You technically got six, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Now it's back to you. Two cards, Naveen. Two cards. I'm not liking what's happening over here with this lack of uh, stealing from you. So I'm going to actually <laughs> okay. get. As my right, I'm going to get rid of this parasitic card. Okay. It's out. It was just bothering me. You can discard a trait card at any time during this first during phase. This first phase. So this first time we're doing it. Making room. Making room. All right. The first card I'm going to play is a surface card. It's speed. And Ooh. it says may have one extra trait. So I can forge for two or attack for two, which is nice. And it has a two protection. That's yeah. good. So, so I'm going to put it on my middle. Like a jack of all trades. Yeah, it's just like a card. speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right there. So I have to play another one, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and play my first deep card. I'm, it's called the Gothite Exoskeleton. Oh, okay. It says, may have one extra trait, uh -huh. and it, this species that I place this on cannot be attacked by a species with less than nine attack. Oh, okay. So that's, that's everybody. Very protected, yeah. Right. I'm going to place it uh, onto that open space that I just created <laughs> over okay. here. Okay. So that's kind of nice. It's going to cost me one um, of my population, unfortunately. Where are you going to put it? Oh, let's just put it... Let's just put it in fertile. Oh, okay. Why not? You don't want that to happen. All right, time to feed. Time to feed. And Who with? I think I'm going to go with the uh, filter feeder here. Okay. The filter feeder will help uh, kind of funnel into this one, which is always good. So uh, I'm going to forage. I'm going to go ahead and just take it from uh, the reef. You don't have not? to take it from the reef. I don't have as to. As a reminder. No, I don't have to. <laughs> now that we have long haul migration. We, we do. So you, it's you're gonna choosing to. One, two. <laughs> I see. Three, four, and uh, five. That seems Ooh, like a so decent amount. Close. Well, they don't overpopulate. Uh, oh, the yeah, that's right. doesn't Your overpopulate. Does not. Uh, because this one foraged, this yep. is now going to gain three. So we're going to take one, two. Because it's the closest whale cleaner on the left. It is. The closest whale cleaner to the right is my species over here. Uh -huh. So I also gain three. So that means, oh, yes. The second ocean zone has been, oh no, <laughs> there was one fish hiding. One fish hiding. That would have been so exciting because uh, uh, Bertle would have been, mm. would have come into play, but That's right. I was wrong. And now it's time to age. So I'm going to take down two on each. This is dangerous here. This is looking real this nice. This is looking juicy. Yeah. And then this is also looking kind of juicy. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Done? Yep, that's it. Okay, so how many cards do you have here? Uh, I have four, so I do have to draw up. I think I'm just going to take two from here. No deep cards no deep for cards now? No this time. All right, back to me. I think one of my species is definitely going to go extinct because I have too many that are not doing so well Good. right now. So the first card I'm going to play is Parasitic. Uh -huh. So Parasitic is uh, similar to the one that you played earlier, except yeah. before my feeding phase, this whatever species will leach two from the species to the left. Oh, so I'm going to play Parasitic on come this on. species here because this Thief. species can hold a fourth trait I not have this happen. Um, because of my warm-blooded over here and i think Ooh. i'm going to cover up this card because this card is way too cute <laughs> this guy just chilling there so You're again stealing from me maximum traits you can hold are three but because i have warm-blooded this species can have one extra trait so there you go Shoot. that's my one card Come on, um, for my second card i'm going to play a second apex predator okay. onto this species so that they can still they can still attack uh they'll have an attack value of six instead of three all right those are my two cards before i feed again my parasitic will come to play right here i'm going to leech two from here Gosh. <laughs> Dang it. over here unbelievable and then uh, i'm going to feed and i think i'm going to feed with my apex predator so it has a total of six i'm going to attack this species because you have a shell value of four i only take two but it still is good because... Leave me alone, Mojo. 
<laughs> this way what my my other species survives oh because uh, I have shark cleaners on either side of my apex predator. So they will both gain two each. So now, now fertile is in play. Naveen, that's good for you. Is it? It is, because if you start a new species, it automatically gains two. Oh. So oh, two that is something. population from there and two from there. And now I will age. And surprisingly, none of them went extinct. I was, I was for sure, I was certain that they were going to be. All right, so two, two, two. You're too good at this game, man. You're, you're too good. I, I, I don't think so. I've made some mistakes no, along the way. No, But Every there you go. single opportunity, you've scored more points than me. I'm trying. The ocean the spread is... is going to be pretty big. The ocean's not a friendly place, you're, Yeah, no. as you all know. Okay, do I want a deep card? You know, I'm going to draw another deep card. Let's just take three from the top here. Um, although, the, this is nice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I found a really, whew, a really sort of aggressive card. I'm going to keep it only because it works towards what I have going on here. I don't know if I'm going to put it into play. So I'm going to go ahead and discard these into the gene pool. This is the behemoth. It ignores can't be attacked effects if this species has a greater attack value than the target. Um, and then there's deep diver that gives you plus two uh, in forage value for each deep trait on this species. And you can forage from any ocean zone, although we can already do that mm -hmm. with a long haul migration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have five cards. I'm just going to, I'm just going to draw a card. Okay. I'm not going to discard anything. All right. Monique is killing me right now. I don't know if I am. You are. You're doing very well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play shark cleaner. So okay. I'm very jealous of what you've been doing. Uh, it's that one where if it's to, it's the closest to the predator with a three or more value, yeah. then it's going to gain two. Fortunately, this species here has an extra slot for an extra trait. So okay. let's go ahead and just move things up just a little bit. Yeah, you can do some overlap yeah. like I did here. I think I can do probably, probably like this. Yeah, All right. there you go. There we go. Okay. So in playing this card, you are now essentially blocking this species from being the closest shark cleaner to your apex predator right. on that side. So that's good for you. And then when I use it, it will then fill kind of like what you've been doing with this back and yeah, forth. Yeah, right. Okay, I do not like the fact that not only can you attack for two, but you can leech for two. So I'm gonna create a little buffer zone here. Oh, okay. Just to kind of protect me for just a little bit of time with my second one. So okay. uh, let's go ahead and create a, another apex predator. And it's gonna go right in between. So we're gonna have to make a little bit of room here. Okay. So I'm gonna place this apex predator out. All into right. that zone. There you go. So now we got a little bit of a buffer. But because we're fertile, fertile. <laughs> fertile. 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 <laughs> you gained two. Gain two. So there two you go. Gone there. So it'll it'll feed itself. I'm actually once. quite impressed that none of these have gone extinct. It's happening. It's, it's about it's, to happen. Maybe not in this turn, but it's gonna happen. It's about eventually. to go down. Yeah. Okay, so because I have the parasitic before your feeding phase, I'm gonna leech two from this one. So I take one because there's only one there. Okay. Okay, feeding phase. We're going to use this apex predator to go ahead and attack this undefended species here. Ah. So it's going to attack for three, which is... Uh, Everything? All of it, yeah. Ugh, awful. I mean, you did it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's still awful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You'll get yours. You'll get it. You'll see. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Symbiotic. Gain one after the species to the left forages or attacks. So I'm going to gain from this zone. Okay. And then also, because I played that shark cleaner, just like you've been doing, yep. uh, after the species with three or more attacks, gain two if this is the closest shark cleaner on either side. All right. Similarly, the other closest shark cleaner is over here so yeah. i gained two as well uh oh we're running out of fish mm. yeah the, game's gonna, the end gonna is nigh. go pretty quick yeah okay all right so then now it's time to uh, age so we're going to take down two on each so mm -hmm. two 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 and then the buffer two which is probably going to die very soon uh, <laughs> that's really nice it's going to go right there you did that you did well there Thank Everything you. survived. Um, that's not what's going to happen here, no. I promise you. <laughs> Perfect. I haven't heard you say that in so long. So it is probably going to be in our best interest to start a new species because you gain two. You gain two and then you just strip it off and then that's the end of it. You could gain two, use both of your cards to just start gain, two gain. new species, yeah. species, right? That'll be four points. Yeah, anyway. you're, you're thinking my strategy. We'll see. <laughs> we don't have much space though, money. So now I'm going to discard one. And then I'm gonna draw three. One, okay. two, and three. Okay, ooh. All right, well, I have come to terms with the fact that my apex predator is probably is probably on, on its the way, way out, out, which oh. means I won't get to play that sweet deep card <laughs> that I oh, talked about just earlier. Talked about? Oh, good. I'll show it to you 
when uh, at the end of the game. But okay. yeah, you don't have to worry about it. So uh, <laughs> I was very first, worried about it. The first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to discard a species card from my firstborn over here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be parasitic. Now that you've played this kind of blocking apex predator, yeah, for it doesn't sure. seem as good anymore. That's good. So I'm going to kick that one out. So you still so, have the one additional trait, though, because of that deep card you have played? Yes. And speaking of, I'm going to play another trait what onto that it? species, and it's going to be tentacle. Uh, so yeah. now they can feed one additional time, which yep. is nice because it never overpopulates right. and it cannot be attacked. So it seems pretty good. Win. -win. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, and then I'm going to start another species, which I know is a little bit tough because we're running out of space. Sure. So we're going to do some, a little bit of overlap magic, I guess. Well, do you know if one um, is going to die on you? This one is going to die. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to start a new species with a filter feeder. Oh, what are you and doing? And because uh, we are fertile over here, the new species will gain two. Okay. So I'm going to just say that I'm placing it in between these two, pretty much to the left of my apex predator. Okay. But my apex predator is going to go extinct. So you'll make the room at the appropriate time. Yeah. Okay, that makes so sense. So we'll I get just kind of do this for now. <laughs> yeah. And it'll come with two fish on it. Yeah. We're going to do yeah. that. Knowing that that's this gonna is going to away. Out. Yeah. So it's going to come with two fish on it. No sense in juggling a ton so... of stuff just to move it right back in place. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a new species, so it gains two. Okay. Those are the two cards that I played. I so gotcha. now I'm going to feed. And of course, I'm going to choose this species yeah, to feed. It's sure. been a while. Um, I probably should have done this sooner, but here we are. So I'm going to feed twice because I have tentacles. And mm -hmm. each time I feed, we forage for five, and I'm taking them all from so you're the taking third 10, technically, yeah. ocean zone. Yes, I'm taking 10. Because you feed twice. Technically, if you ever uh, hit that number, then you would overpopulate. And you would have to discard down to five. But because it's a filter feeder, mm -hmm. we don't overpopulate. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, we might be in our last like two Push. turns yeah. or something. Oof. So that should be 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because this species is the closest whale cleaner yeah. uh -huh. on this side, uh -huh. uh, I, I believe they're going to gain three twice. Because it says after a species with three or more forages, it gains three. And this foraged twice. Oh. So, and I think you do the same. I also have a whale cleaner, yeah. Yeah, so you get... I'll take three. You get six. Uh, oh, I get six. Yeah, because I did it twice. Whoa. So, I know, I should have considered I that. I should attack myself. Because at the end of the game, you also get to take the population from your species. That's right. So, as long as it doesn't go away... Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, it's like Christmas. You're welcome. This, okay. Wow. <laughs> I think that's it, though. Uh, so six, six, wow. Did anything else on your board activate? I don't think so, because you didn't attack. You just foraged, yeah. And your only gains, yeah, it was a whale cleaner. That was that, right? Yeah, again, my whale cleaner is as close to... Is uh, the closest, closest one. Closest one to her foraging. Unless, yeah, exactly. Unbelievable. Okay, Unbelievable. so that's it. I have fed. Now let's uh, age. And so I'm going to I'm gonna just make this species go extinct now. The one that's under I cannot. I cannot age... Uh, this species, it has no more population on it. That was your attacking so, Apex Predator. Yeah, I debated just uh, replacing the Apex Predator cards with right. a filter feeder and just switching gears entirely, but I figured creating a new species was better because they come with, with two. Yeah, So that makes sense. There you go. So these go get discarded, They're this out. species board goes back. But now I wow. have my proper... <laughs> My proper lineup here. How many fish are left in the... Uh... Oh, this there is... are four. Ooh, okay, this might be it. Yeah, this is probably going to be it. So uh, now I'm going to properly age. So two from each, two, two, this is two. And yeah, then, a good game. not that it matters too much actually, but because this is warm blooded, I can age an additional one to three population. I might as well do the full three just in case, just in case there's any funny business. Funny business, yeah. But that's that. And since I have a feeling that uh, Naveen's turn is going to be the last turn, I'm, I'm just going to draw for up sure. two cards. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, since I, I believe I was the person who started the game, right? You started the game. Since I started the game, if Naveen ends it, the game will just end, just end. there because everybody gets the same number of turns. Right. All right, Naveen, what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> well, I know for a fact I'm going to want schooling in there because I can age for plus one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put schooling onto this. I mean, again, not that it matters too much. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Because the left population over. left on yeah. your species boards. We'll I might as in. well do tentacled, which says may feed one additional time. There so if go. I'm going to go ahead and feed hard. No. Bring more vacuum more into your system. Yeah, we're going to put that one there. And I'm going to play tentacled also on my apex predator that's out there. Okay. 
So and that one may have an extra trait, right? This one can have an extra trait, so this one can feed twice. Oh. I'm think I'm seeing some undefended fishies out here. Leave me alone. I'm seeing End the game, Naveen. <laughs> there are only four left. There's only four left, and there is a reserve set of fish, which yes, I could yes. technically use. Knowing that I go second and there is a reserve set of population fish, I'm thinking I don't end it now, because what I'm gonna do now I can do on my next turn. If that makes sense? Mm. I think. I guess attacking me is probably strategically better I because think. of the differential. It's a, you know, minus points for me, plus points for you. Problem I'm seeing, though, is this filter feeder won't be around. If I if I attack with my apex predator here, yeah. I cannot age for two here. Correct. Yes, you're going to have... So then it would be dead. It go extinct. Uh, uh, maybe I'll just end it. Maybe I'll just end it. Word. You're going to end it? I think I will have to. Yeah, okay. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. So, okay. Before <laughs> feeding, uh, well... Let's go ahead and uh, instead of playing that tentacle that I said, knowing that I'm going to do this, Whoa. I'm actually going to play parasitic. Retconning. Yeah, I'll retcon a little bit. Okay. Hint. So now I have a double parasitic here yes. because if I forage, I'm going to stack a bunch. We'll and see right now. You can have two of the same trait right. on one species. So that is that is fine. So I'm going to leech two times two from this one. So four are going to go into this apex predator. One, okay. two. And then for the second parasitic, three, four. Does that make sense? Yeah, yep. Okay. Uh, and then this one, uh, it would only gain one if this forages or attacks. I'm not going to be using it, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Okay. But we are going to go into the filter feeder, who never overpopulates. So you're going to feed? I'm going to feed and then feed again. Okay. So um, because we uh, need to pull from the reserve, because there's only four well, here. Well, yeah, that's true. Because mm -hmm. if you forage, you can choose from any, yeah. from any ocean zone. Yeah. So, so it's going to be this one twice. Okay, so you're taking five now. Yeah, five so now plus take five. the four. And then I'm going to empty the reserve bag into this zone because it's, it's supposed to be as if this zone has unlimited, unlimited um, yeah. amount of population. So, so here's one, two, three, four, five is that next one. And yeah. then I get five more. Okay. So you're doing the thing. Yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah. Uh oh. I can only max out four here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's one. Two, three, four. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Nice dump. You're welcome. Okay, and because of that, I do have that, where did it go? Whale cleaner. It is the closest one to somebody that foraged for three or greater. How do you have four traits on this? May have one extra trait. Ah, speed. your speed. Yeah. Okay, it's so how, how many? Three? Uh, three plus three. There you go, because that's a whale cleaner. The, the whale cleaner that's closest to this side, I believe is this. Yeah, you're gonna bust, I believe. I'm not gonna bust. I think you're gonna overpopulate, right? Why? Let's see. I only gained three. Oh, no, I've, I've had twice. Three. Oh. So, the, so this is going to get it again. Oh, did you do that on purpose? I did. So I get an additional three fish. Yeah. One, two. So I have to take three more. You do have to take three more. <sighs> Awful. Two. Okay, so one, unfortunately, are you done three. with your complete I think that's everything. Feeding? I think that was everything. Okay, so after everybody feeds, then you check for overpopulation. Mm -hmm. And this one cannot overpopulate, right? right? But that's this good. can. So I return five of them back into... Yeah, so you got uh, one point. I guess into any ocean zone. And even though I'm putting it back into the ocean, the game end has already been triggered. triggered. So we assume that we're still going to be ending the game here. Yep. Yeah, I still netted one. You still netted one. It's yeah. fine. It's yeah, fine. Passing it's fine. Too. And then <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and age, even though it doesn't really matter because you're still going to score these populations on here. But yeah. congruency. Let's go ahead and take six points down. Okay. And uh, this apex predator is not going to make it. It's going extinct. It's buffer zone. Let's do it. It did what it had to do. There you go. All right. So not too aggressive. We that didn't is the play end of the game. A whole lot of deep cards this time around. No, I had one right? that was that was. I just couldn't justify spending the money on it. Yeah, that is a thing. You yeah. have to spend spend points. Uh, but they can be quite strong. They can be here. Yeah. Um, I will say now that the game is over. Oh, yeah, uh, the, card? the the card that I had was pack hunting. And so okay. pack hunting lets you have an extra trait, and it doubles each attack value on that species traits. Ew. So I wanted to use it on my apex predator, which, which is no longer with us. It was a six. It was a six, so and it would have been a twelve, and it would have been good enough for the nine. Yeah, the nine. it would have overridden that. But yeah. I guess it was too late in the game um, for me to. How really many points? Uh, oh, only one that. point. You yeah, have to give up too. It was great. It was thing. was great. Like a hammerhead shark. Um, I also had the living ecosystem yeah. that I didn't put into play uh, because it didn't really matter after a while. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that is the end of the game. We are now going to count our points by counting how much population we have behind our screen yep. and add it to the population that is still existing on, on Surviving Species. Mm -hmm. And whoever has the most population is going to be the winner. Yep. All right.
Okay, so what is your score with just population that you have on your screen and on your species? Ready? Just everything I one. have. You want to say it at the same time? Oh, sure, okay, fine. No, okay, you just go one at a time. Okay. Go ahead. I have a total of 57. 57? 57. I have 53. But I have a bonus token because uh -huh. I went first. So this is plus four. That means we're tied. You're tied. 57, 57. I think the tiebreaker is whoever has the most cards. amount of traits yeah, trait on cards. their species. Oh no! One, two, three, four, oh, five, no! six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh no! I have eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I thought you were gonna kill me. Oh no! That is so sad. Wow. It's is this the year of the Naveen? I got one. This is the year of the Naveen. I got one. <laughs> this whole time. I have never won this game against Monique. We well, played this game probably 10 plus times. What did I do wrong? I, I have never won against you. I think that last turn was huge for you. Yeah, making you overpopulate. You did. Well, down. that still netted me one. It netted you but one. You got a lot. I was you got able. a lot of points. <laughs> yeah. Just that one turn. Yeah, I mean, oh, one, gosh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like just 10 in the reserves alone. I mean, if you really think about it, over the course of the game, I did a kind of good job keeping my species afloat. You did. But that was only netting me two, one more. It felt like you were getting plus one, uh, plus population. one. But I had that extra turn where I doubled. Yeah. And then uh, at the end, I got an extra 10. So yeah, okay. That was really good. That was wow. really good for you. Wow. Ooh. Well, wow. that is it. Naveen is the winner. First of time ever winning Ocean Ocean against Monique. Ocean Con Congratulations. Can't do it. You deserved it. Thank you. It is quite possibly the year of the Naveen, even though the year is ending soon. It's, yeah, it's going to be over. <laughs> But there you go. Yeah. That is Oceans. Now, like we were mentioning at the beginning of the video, there is going to be an upcoming Kickstarter for the new solo mode, as well as the new Legends of the Deep expansion. Mm -hmm. And so the way that the expansion works is the game comes with a deck of legend cards. And these are going to be uh, mythological creatures that are inspired from various cultures around mm -hmm. the world. Some are going to be inspired from cultures and some are completely new. Sure. that were just uh, created for the expansion. Right. And so at the start of the game, we're going to draft four of these legend cards each. And so on your turn, during your play card phase, you're allowed to put one of your legend cards into play. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, if I were to play the Bakunawa, which is from a uh, Filipino culture, yep. um, I have to pay the amount of population that it says at the bottom left-hand corner, similar to the way the deep cards work. Mm -hmm. So I would turn in a population back into the reef or ocean zone and then put the Bakunawa into play. It's not a trait card, so it doesn't get assigned to a species, right. but now its uh, ability is in effect. So for this legend specifically, it says you may activate or deactivate any scenario card for the remainder of your turn. Oh, that's cool. So had we had these in play during our gameplay, we could have uh, started the long haul migration sooner, or just me, I guess. Specifically. Yeah, just you. Yep. In the future, if I want to put one of my other legend cards into play, I would have to replace the one that I already have on the table, paying the cost, the difference in cost. Mm -hmm. So for example, Triton's Merfolk requires me to spend three but Bakanawa required me to spend one. So I would two. only have to pay two to put this one into play. Yeah, you can only ever have one in play. Exactly. If the new legend card is cheaper in value, then you get to put it into play for free. Yep. But again, you're always replacing so that you only ever have one at any given time. Right. And so as you can see, these legend cards can be quite strong. So there are a lot of them to explore. If you are interested in learning more, we encourage you to check out their Kickstarter. All right, one last time, Naveen. Good right. job. Thank you. Well, thank you all so much for watching our video today. We really hope you enjoyed it. We have plans to be back in the future for more gameplay videos. But in the meantime, if you want to check out the other ones that we've done on the channel, there is a playlist that you can find down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe here as well. Now, if you're interested in solo gaming, Paula also has a series on this channel called Table for One that you can check out. And until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.